थाई साइड में या हवाई कि सो क्विकली इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ माय नेम इज साइन आई एम फ्रॉम कर्नाटक बट करंटली स्टेइंग इन हैदराबाद ओके आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय मास्टर्स व्हिच इज स्पेशलाइज्ड इन मार्केटिंग फ्रॉम जेईटी वेज इन वोटिंग फॉर यू आई एम कंफर्टेबल विद तेलुगु हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश आई एम कमिंग टू माय टेक्निकल स्किल्स आर मैनुअल टेस्टिंग विद फोर कांसेप्ट्स ऑफ जावा आई एम कंफर्टेबल विद तेलुगु हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश My strengths include adaptability and discipline. My short-term goal is to get a job in a reputed company, and my long-term goal is to make the job a better position where I can build my skills and lead the organization. Coming to my interests, my interests are spending quality time with my family and friends. And coming to my family, we are a family of five: my father, my brother, my mother, my two brothers, including me. That's all about this. Yeah, that's fine. के सो यू आर गुड एट मैनुअल टेस्टिंग एंड कोर कॉन्सेप्ट्स इन जावा एंड या ओके सो फॉर आई एम गोइंग विद द ओनली मैनुअल इज इट ओके फॉर यू यस ओके सो आई एम गोइंग विद द रैंडम अप्रोच इज इट ओके फॉर यू जस्ट ओके सो लेट मी टेल व्हाट इज प्रायोरिटी एंड व्हाट इज सीवियरिटी सो प्रायोरिटी एंड सीवियरिटी आर देयर डिफेक्ट टाइप्स coming to priority priority shows how urgency to fix the defect sir priority can be categorized into three types high priority medium priority and low priority okay. coming to high priority high priority means the high priority means the main module should be fixed without fixing that main module we cannot proceed further yes okay. so coming to medium priority the main module works perfectly but coming to the sub module which is present in the main module it may not work perfectly Coming to low priority, low priority includes the cosmetic mistakes, like spellings and graphical use interfaces. Okay. And coming to severity, severity shows the seriousness seriousness of the defect and how it will affect the business and the applications. Severity is also of three types: major, minor, and critical. That's fine. Okay. Uh, now, so you said that priority and severity. So. So you know any like uh, example for high priority and low severity defect? Yes. I'm asking question like high priority and low severity. Sir, so, uh, high priority and low severity example can be of uh, the names of the company, sir. For example, if you take a company uh, like Google, the spelling mistake can be randomly changed. Although the users uh, may not observe the spelling mistakes, but they use the application by believing in the company. it may be of high priority because spelling mistakes but they don't uh, understand that mistake and they use uh, so that there will be no loss for the companies yes that's fine so okay uh you like uh, when you are manual tester you know the testing is life cycle also. yes okay in the testing is life cycle so what we are doing in environment setup and testing solution sir so, environment setup we are gathering all the requirements for carrying on the testing Like what is the operating system we need to carry out, and what are the tools we need, and what is the broadband connection, and what is the page we need. All these are the requirements for the to carry out the testing, sir. And coming to test execution, after all the requirements have been gathered, we need to execute or to check the quality of the software. Yes, that's I am thinking. Now, so in execution time we are getting a defects. Yes. Sir. How can you send defects to developer? If we get any defect in the execution time, we send to the developer by a name called defect, and it includes some bug labs, I guess. Yes, okay, that's fine. Okay, any content you are following, like uh, defect ID, case scenario, like. Yes, sir. Uh, we need to follow some templates like uh, what is the test case ID and what is the test scenario ID, and what are the requirements we are gathering and what are the test steps. Okay, so that's fine. So what is mean by abnormal behavior? So abnormal behavior means if the expectations are not matched to the actuals during the testing phase. Okay. So what is so you know that SDLC process also. Yes. So there is a test software testing phase and software deployment phase. Yes. So after the software testing, we are going to the deployment. Which type of deployment we are following? Like a client uh, deployment means release URL. Yes. 
So which type of release you are going? First you are releasing to the market or when? No sir, after the product has been developed, the team lead or the manager will deploy the software to the client side. If only the client gets satisfied with the software, he will deploy it into the market side. That's fine. So, if the market requires market require new changes, who will be responsible for the new changes? If there is any requirement or update into the application in the market, all the above cases means uh, software developer, business analysis, system analysis, architect, mm -hmm. all those uh, members should be again involved for this providing updates. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, what you are saying, you are that's okay. In maintenance space, we are doing this. Place. Yes. So basically we are doing testing for my intention is for quality purpose. So in your view, what is quality? So quality means uh, the expectations are uh, actuals are equal. Uh, quality cannot be defined in a single word, sir. It may be it depends upon user mindset mindset. If the user wants a friendly budget, it may be of the a low cost, it may be on on time delivery. Yes. All these factors should be taken into consideration. That's all. Fine. Now, so as a software testing, we are following a verification and validation process. So, what you know about verification? Not in definition, but what in your view? What is verification? So, verification means uh, we should check the process before developing the products. Right? What are the client requirements? According to these requirements, we should check the process whether it is going to be okay or not okay. It is known as verification. Is it necessary to do verification? Yes, sir. Why? Before developing the product, we should know what to do, how to do. Yes. To know all this, we should do the process. Okay. So you know that bugler cycle as well, right? Yes. So in before opening, we are following the deferred and duplicate. So what is meant by deferred and what is meant by duplicate? Which scenario we are keeping that duplicate? So duplicate means, uh, duplicate refers to the developing phase when a tester sends the defect to the developer, he checks that he did, did any other tester also send the same defect, similar to the existing one. It is known as duplicate, sir. Deferred means, uh, it may be, it will be the development phase, uh, the developer may think out of is it necessary to fix the bug now or in a postpone it due to lack of time or maybe lack of seniority or lack of priority? Fine. Okay. So, in test cases template, there is a test data is the phase. Okay. Test data is the phase. So, how many design techniques are there? To guess the test data, we have five design techniques. Okay. Uh, they are boundary value analysis and equivalent class partitioning, decision making table, and class uh, state transition and error tracing. So, in this five techniques, which techniques are using input domain testing? So, for input testing domains, uh, we use a boundary value analysis and equivalent class partitioning. Is there any formulas in boundary value analysis? Yes, sir. What are they? Uh, they mean uh, the sum of the formulas like minimum which is less than the original value and maximum which is slightly greater than the original value and average of the total values. Yes. So, what is software? So, uh, software means it is a collection of programs. Okay. What is program? A set of instructions given to perform a particular what we require to develop the software? So we require a set of instructions and programs. And programming language. Programming language. So finally, my question uh, stopping with that. What is the use of software testing? And what is the importance of software testing? So with the help of software testing, we can be, uh, we can reduce the failure risk of the product and to provide and to save time and money for the company as well as clients and to provide a failure risk to satisfy the customer and to provide assurance to the customers. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So, yes, okay. Um, okay, Sahib. So, we will continue further. further on. Okay, this is my side. Do you have any inquiries to ask? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, what is that? How can you rate my performance? 